Tehillim, Psalms 105. O oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahuwah. Seek Yahuwah and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Avraham, his servant, ye children of Yaakov, his chosen, he is Yahuwah Eloheinu. His judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Which covenant he cut with Eth Avraham and his oath unto Yitzchak and confirmed the same unto Yaakov for a law, and to Yashadael for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto you will I give eth the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He broke the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Yosef, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron. Until the time that his word came, the word of Yahuwah tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Yashadael also came into Mitzrayim, and Yaakov sojourned in the land of Cham. And he increased his eth people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moshe his servant and Aharan, whom he had chosen. They showed, his, they showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Cham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against Eth his word. He turned Eth their waters into blood and slew Eth their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spoke and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also and their fig trees and broke the trees of their coasts. He spoke and the locusts came and caterpillars and that without number. 
and did eat up all the herbs in their land and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Mitzrayim was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered at his holy promise, and at Avraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and at his chosen with gladness, and gave them the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people, that they might keep his statutes, and guard his Torah. Hallelujah!